so i wrote my gre i wrote my il while i was working and everything i did while i was working and of course your kid helped me so much like my gre score was not up to the mark i felt uh, so i felt that my gre could be a hurdle somewhere and uh, also the fact that i had to work like 9 to 6 and then come back so and then i have to prepare for gre then for il Uh, till two in the night sometimes, and then I have to write my SOPs and LORs and everything, and then fill the application form. Welcome to Student Stories from Your Kid Tours. Today we have with us Saloni. She is going to State University of New York Buffalo to pursue MS in Data Science. Can you tell me a bit about your work experience? Uh, so while I was there for four years, I interned in a startup called Get IoT in my second year. uh which was basically i was an android app developer there then in my third year i became a research intern uh, in iit bombay so i was working on machine learning projects there and that is where i actually started like data science and machine learning projects and then after i graduated i was working in mini orange which is also a semi startup kind of a thing where i was working as a business analyst i worked there for 14 months what were the factors you considered while choosing data science program Yeah, so the program uh, was uh, decided the day I like started working as an intern in IIT Bombay because I was really I got really interested in machine learning and data science. So I knew there and that that I have to pursue masters in data science and not computer science. Uh, the course, uh, the college uh, was decided on the basis of like there were a lot of factors which we took uh, in account. So the first was I wanted a public tier one university. basically so sunny the fellow meets that requirement also i think the second factor would be which every indian thinks about is budget friendly university which is also a public university is uh, almost a budget friendly university and with sunny the fellow is so that is also like the second major factor uh, the third factor would be that i wanted like a good university with a good ranking in this particular course in data science which was also met by this university so yeah these are some of the factors Was there any challenge that you faced during your study abroad preparation journey? Actually, when I started this whole journey, this journey of one to one point five years, uh, so I was working. So I wrote my GRE, I wrote my IELTS while I was working, and everything I did while I was working. And of course, your kid helped me so much. Uh, but I got uh, like my GRE score was not up to the mark. I felt uh, so. I felt that my GRE could be a hurdle somewhere uh, in the colleges where I was applying. and uh, also the fact that i had to work like 9 to 6 and then come back and then also like i had to work from home if some work was pending by uh, from the office so and then i have to prepare for gre then for iel uh, till 2 in the night sometimes and then i have to write my sops and lors and everything and then fill the application form and shortlist the universities uh, so i think these were some of the hurdles which took place in the initial 6 months of my job and the process starting process of this uh, uh, applying to the university how did you overcome the insecurity you had about your low gre score yeah so uh, i was very like i was very insecure about my gre score in the beginning because i thought it's not that up to the mark i i was getting like more score in the mock and i didn't get like a good score um, Uh, in final exam so i talked to my counselor a great heads up to gemini because she told me she gave me this confidence that the universities they don't just look at your gre score they are going to look at your whole profile so we actually prepared a very good sop i wrote a sop with uh, mentioning everything not just my academics but everything like all co curricular activities i have done and everything so i think uh, a good sop and i think lors from good professors really help you overcome this gre score thing and universities i think it's a myth universities are not really looking at just at your gre score they are looking at your whole profile so yeah i think that's how i overcome this hurdle how did you structure your sop so while i was writing my sop i uh, so my uh, so the team the yorker team told me that you have to write it like an essay like a story like you are telling you about yourself to the university as if they don't know anything about you like from the scratch and what you are, all you have achieved so i started writing from like from the first year of my college what all projects i have done and uh, maybe some projects i made for the ngo and that's a big part which plays uh, there in america it's, it's a very big point uh, for them if you have made any project for ngos or any uh, you know any organization so i mentioned every project of mine which i made from first year to 
of year all my i all my co curricular activities like even if i was part of a football team or a basketball team i mentioned that or any debate uh, competitions i also mentioned that a curricular activity which i did um then also i mentioned of course i mentioned like um, good paragraphs about my research paper like what research work i have done so about that like uh, i have done two research papers so i mentioned about those research papers and also about my internship like uh, and what exactly i was working during my internship uh, on what projects i was working and yeah i mean when i was working uh, in iit bombay i was working on some government based projects so i've emphasized on that that you know the projects are government based and it's going to help uh, the country in, on the whole so i i worked on those projects so this is how i wrote my essay like a story like i started from the first year and i finished in the fourth year and also i mentioned about my work experience like how it is related to what i'm doing uh, business analysis is actually related to what i'm going to pursue in the future that is data science and how i'm working on data visualization techniques and everything so i mentioned that i connected that and then i wrote an essay so that's how i wrote it any words of wisdom you would like to share for study abroad aspirants yeah so i i think uh, i mean any score above 300 i think it's it's a good one i mean it's a decent score you can just start applying to the university and i think if you don't have a good gre score you just have to fill that void so try to fill that void using your good sop good lor any co curricular activity or done any sports any ngo activity any debate competitions or anything don't lie on your <laughs> in your sop but uh, so yeah i think uh, this this myth of uh, you know that if you have a low gre score you can definitely uh, fill it with um, you know a video good sop and good lor then good pro it. and if you have a good cgpa that would be great i mean you have a good cgpa or a good profile good sop so it's fine i mean gre score is not going to stop you from getting high grade check out yokit connect to connect with 7 lakh plus students like these 